Fate of the Furious. Fate. F eight E. No, no E. Just F eight, right? Fate. Um I thought for a while it was called the Fate of the Eight. Fate of the Eight. That made sense to me since it's number eight. Yeah, but they have to have fast or furious in the title. That's yeah, of course. All right. First thing I want to know. Baby scene, the best scene in any action movie, right? Uh, it's definitely the best scene in any of these movies for sure. Yeah. Um, but no, it was pretty good. Yeah. I, as soon as it started happening, I was like, all right, better pay attention. Here it is. <laughs> He's going to quiz me on it. It's so uh, funny. I know it I, is. I probably ruined it for you by building it up so much, but like, oh, it's just so, it's just that they're willing to do that. And like the stakes are raised so much more because he's holding a baby <laughs> And then they yeah. shoot out, you know, and then there's this scene I, uh, where he gets shot and he's like, and he's like you're going to shoot, gonna a, shoot baby? a baby. <laughs> it's so funny. And even the, even the guy was like, ah, like he didn't have a response. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, but why did he have the headphones with him? So the gunshots wouldn't hurt the baby's no, ears. I know. But like he just had them. Well, I think he knew. I think he anticipated that there'd be yeah. gunshots. Uh, but no, that was good. So, Fate of the Furious. Is it Fate of the Furious or Fate of the... Yeah, Fate of the Furious. I was going to say Fate, Fate of the, of the Fast. Fate of the Furious. Um, Fate, Fate of the Fast. So, this is... The Furious. Tokyo Drift 4. <laughs> this is the first movie without Paul Walker. Uh, they Correct. S- they started off and it tonally, it feels very different to me. I don't... Oh, for sure. Um, and which is a good and a bad thing, I think, because there's like a there's a clear absence without Paul Walker in these movies, especially knowing that he's dead and all that. Like you're like, I don't know, maybe yeah. don't make this movie, but you know. Um, um, but they do. I the one of the things before we like really get into the story is the they put Scott Eastwood in it, Clint Eastwood's son, as the yeah. FBI guy, like yep. this, and that to me felt the least sensitive out of all of it because they basically just replaced paul walker's character with another white guy who is in the fbi so like just every the role that paul walker would play they just replaced him taking over yeah yeah he really had no place in this movie yeah especially do anything significant i think i don't know if they're establishing him for the next movie or what but it just felt like I don't know because everything he did, um, Kurt Russell could have done and would have done better. Yeah. You know, like he could have played that role very easily. Like obviously, you wouldn't have like the the jerk of a guy, but like you don't need that. You have enough characters as it is. You They're have all enough jerks. Tension between all the cast already. You know, like with Vin Diesel taking a turn, with Jason Statham taking a turn. Like there's a lot of conflict that you didn't need in a, an additional one, especially when you're replacing a dead person that people who love the yeah. series really were sad about, you know? So this movie, or you'll have to remind me, where does this take place in terms of the rock and Vin Diesel's real life feud? This is like in the middle of it, I think. So, so like during the filming of this is when it started. Uh, I think it started in the seventh movie. I think okay. that's when they started having issues. Cause I think that's why the rock was hardly in it was because, because Vin Diesel didn't want him to be. I know that one of the things you had said about the last one is the, or you, you thought one of Vin Diesel's problems with the rock is that he, Vin Diesel is supposed to be the big intimidating mm-hmm. person. Yeah. And the rock kind of was that. Yeah. Uh, Cause it would make sense if it was this movie. Cause the rock is so over the top. Yeah, in, in so this one, this as far one, as his strengths, it's kind of ridiculous. This one, they had the uh, like a public feud on Instagram, right? Where they were like yelling at each other. <laughs> basically, they like I don't think they said each other's names, but they basically were like fighting with each other, and everyone knew who they were talking about. Um, but yeah, so that I don't think the Rock so is gonna be in any more Fast and Furious movies like the the main story but i think him and jason statham are going to be in their own movies under the fast and furious umbrella which are going to be way better 
than any of the Fast and Furious movies. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think that they have the potential. Well, like the best parts were Jason Statham. Everything. Yeah, which is it goes against everything I believe in, but yeah, I would agree <laughs> with that. Because leading up to this movie, mm. I'm not a big fan of Jason Statham. He's just the same yeah. character in every movie, kind of like how The Rock is this year, and yeah. mm-hmm. it's just not my thing. But he's definitely pretty cool in this movie. Well, his interactions with The Rock were great, like in the yeah. prison when they're. Well, do you want to let's yeah. go? Let's start from the beginning, okay, I so- guess. Okay, uh, so this one starts off. I don't. Are they in Puerto Rico? Um, Cuba? Brazil? One of the, Brazil? I, think maybe? Brazil. I feel like he one says of those. That, this is Brazil. When he like yells out into the crowd or something like that. Yeah, that's probably true. Do you remember that? Um, <laughs> At the car racing scene in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> um, there, I, I don't remember exactly what led to this race but the so one his of Vin Diesel's cousins, friends was gonna his, oh, his cousin? cousin yeah it was his cousin uh was gonna race the biggest guy in town for some reason well no no he wasn't gonna race he was getting his car taken by him yeah but oh because he lost is that what it was i thought he like owed him maybe he owed him money and then the guy said well you didn't pay so i'm taking your car and maybe that's what it was but Vin Which, Diesel by the way, that car was garbage yeah Vin Diesel's like, why don't we race for it? And then he, they race. And, well, Vin Diesel so, rips apart the car with his bare hands. So he tells him, oh, it doesn't matter, you know, what kind of car you have, this and that. Yeah. It's, it's about who's driving. Yeah. And the guy's like, okay, well, then let's race. And you have to drive this, like, piece of crap. Yeah. Which I get, like, an experienced driver is good, but there's no way. There's no way Vin Diesel wins that race with no. that car. No, they're not without the trademark. Nas. <laughs> there's definitely, um, there's like no, there's sk- a limit. Skill will probably give you ten percent, right? I mean, unless you're terrible. Yeah. If you're terrible and you just crash into the wall, obviously it can take away. But like being a professional racer is only going to make your car ten percent better than it actually is. You know what I'm saying? Like. There's so a, so the, I, this is how this is what I compare it to. There's a and, reason why in the NASCAR or like the Grand Prix, they all drive the same car because there's a certain car that works the best, no, yeah. no matter how good of a driver you are. Um. So like in Tokyo Drift, mm. right? That one race with a uh, kid from Tool Time. Yeah. Uh, where that guy had clearly the much better vehicle but he was very inexperienced he, he was not a great driver and so freaking doofus face was able to beat him <laughs> i think he beat him i don't remember yeah, if he beat, beat him. him even with his not you know kind of junker car now i can understand yeah uh, a really good driver with a average car can beat a bad driver with a fast car but yeah. this guy has already proven he's like the fastest on the island so he's mm-hmm. not the same yeah, he's a good driver with the fastest car. I, Vin Diesel should not win that race. No, yeah, no way. Zero. Like not even chance. close. But he does have that trick from the Busta, which is Paul Walker, by the way. Uh, oh, that oh, if yeah. he connects the soda can line to the air intake, he can like get extra boost, but it like burns the engine up, and then they put uh, laughing gas into the system as nos and it's just oh, like is that what that was? so okay yeah it's all weird man it was like this it, i i, I didn't was I, dumb but i actually didn't mind it yeah that's what i was gonna I, say i appreciated that they got back to street racing yeah uh because that hadn't for been a second yeah that hadn't really been a part of the series for a long time i just hate vin diesel every time yeah, he's on that. screen i'm like oh because he's always like cramming Boom. down yeah Boom, cramming down this story of like family's the most important and all this stuff and it's just like and then he so he wins the race i did like where his car is pretty much on fire yeah and then he drives backwards now again you're gonna lose like for sure at that point but i thought the the idea was kind of interesting that he was keeping driving the backwards fire so, off so the fire's yeah not going in his face yeah um 
but yeah, no, he should not have won that race. No. But so he wins and the guy gives him his keys and he's like, Your respect is all I care about. And gives Which him, why though? I don't know. Because he's all about family. He's grown. Letty has changed him. If he I okay. The other criminal has changed him, yes. No. And so he uh, I think he should have just took the car and gave it to the kid. Well, he gave him his own car. Why though? That's dumb. You don't you need that? You know I'm not him, right? I don't know anymore. <laughs> Vin Diesel thinks he's Jesus. That's true. And so, oh man, this movie. And the so they're hanging out in Brazil, and then this is when um, what's her name? Oh man, I just Charlie Theron. Yeah, Charlie Theron shows up, and it must be right after Mad Max was filmed, because she's got that wig with all the dreads. Yeah. Because oh, I think yeah. she had a shaved head at the time. The shaved head. Yeah. Because she looks not not like bad. She just looks off. Like it like doesn't. I didn't even. I did In that scene where we saw her first, I didn't even realize that was her. Yeah. I didn't realize it was her until way later. <laughs> uh -huh. But then so she has a picture on her phone and she's like, Vin Diesel, you're going to help me. And she blackmails him. And they. They For cut an unknown reason. Yeah, you don't know what's going on. They cut to a the end of a heist, which I thought was kind of a cool storytelling device. Instead of showing the whole heist and you know keeping the pace up, they're like, "You get it. You know what's going on." They just jump into the <laughs> middle of it, you know. Yeah. And uh, Vin Diesel double crosses everyone and steals the EMP and runs off with it, leaving the rock upside down, broken in his car, and. Uh, the Rock is like, you haven't crossed the line yet, but if you walk away with that, you're done. And it's like, dude, he rammed you off the road and tried to steal something like, from you. He's definitely that's, crossed the that's line. Definitely, yeah, like he, if Vin Diesel were like, you know what, you're right, my bad, never mind. Yeah. Rock's like, all right, we're good. <laughs> um, I'll forgive this moment where you tried to kill me. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make any sense. But so he gets away with it. Now the whole team is in a panic because what do you do? Because Dom because is he gone. Betrayed Brownwood. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Which I I hated this whole thing. Not Wait, the movie part? in mm. general, but the whole him betraying them. Like there were so many different ways he could have went about it. Yeah. Like just telling his team what was going on, mm -hmm. and they could have like all work together to figure something out yeah because now they don't trust you and you're putting their lives in in, in danger you could have killed them during that chase through the streets of wherever they were new yeah. york i think i don't um, know it was just reckless they're in russia was it russia which, which the one where they they like harpoon him oh yeah that was new york right right yeah so before russia I, Russia. I just Russia Russia's where he stole the EMP I think. Okay. Yes. Because <laughs> because then so the rock is upside down stranded and he gets arrested and gets extradited to the states and put in prison. And that's when he gets put next to Owen Shaw. And the, Okay. Who does Mr. Nobody work for? I don't know. I don't understand why he had all this power but couldn't just free him cuz he like he meets him at the prison. He's like, you know, we can't do anything to help you. And he's like, yep. And then he opens up his jail cell <laughs> and then helps him escape. I was just like, wait, yeah. what? What is going on here? Um, yeah. But I don't think you're supposed to think about that part. Well, of course not. Also, there's so, this, uh, the first of many times where The Rock is like, freaking Mr. Incredible with his super strength. <laughs> and he's like boxing the wall. Yeah. Not tearing up his hands like that has no like your strength has no bearing on, on your, the damage that a wall can do to your skin. Yeah, actually, like, you could be the your, strongest man. Your strength does have direct comparison to how much damage a wall does to your hand, but it's more okay. damage. It's the yeah, stronger exactly. you are. <laughs> like, You're not strengthening your skin. Yeah, by being strong. Yeah, or your bones. Was, I mean, I guess you can you build up the calcium and stuff, but still, you can really mess yourself up. Oh, yeah. 
and it wasn't. Yeah, he was hard boxing these walls. Hard boxing. It was pretty hard. You know, hard boxing. Yeah, yeah. It was ridiculous. <laughs> uh, but I do love their interaction, where they're like, um, yeah, Owen Shaw and him, where they the <laughs> they're just yelling at each other, and uh, Owen Shaw, Jason Statham's like, oh, all muscle but no go, and The Rock is like, oh, I got plenty of go rips a concrete bench off the floor and starts curling it <laughs> and then he says like the rock says to jason statham he's like you're lucky that there's doors between us and as soon as he says that the door just pops open and he's like because well, he what? says you really think that if we were in a fight you know like a straight up mm-hmm. fight you would win and i'm thinking like he probably would though he's a big guy but he didn't in uh number seven Oh, yeah, that's right. Jason he makes, the, he makes the comment about throwing him out the window. Yeah. Of the, of, he's <laughs> like, I jumped out the window. <laughs> like, oh, that makes you look really smart. You jumped out a four-story window. I mean, it was an, a, idiot. an explosion going on. Like, it was either die by explosion or risk falling out of the window. Uh, I don't know if it, it's fair to call him an idiot for that. but Oh, it's quite fair. I would... I would blame him going out the window on Jason Statham no matter what, though. Like, I wouldn't be like, I jumped. I was like, yeah, well, you jumped because it was his fault because he got the better of you. Like, it's not like you you yeah. jumped for fun. You didn't. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, yeah, so then Jason Statham gets out of his prison or out of his cage, whatever, the cell. And they have this. I, I really like this chase scene. You have Jason Statham oh, fighting people. On the bottom. Yeah, doing parkour. And so it's like real dynamic and like just a lot going on, like martial art type stuff. And then the mm-hmm. rock is just like barreling his way through people and just like trying to chase down Jason Statham and the, the just the position between the two of them and the way they were doing it, I thought was a really interesting uh, fight scene. Cause it is a, I don't know what to call it. I don't know if it's a chase scene or a fight scene. Cause it's both, you know, like it's the, a chite scene. It's a chite scene. That sounds like a racial slur. I feel like yeah. Let's just, not say that just in case. We should have bleep, blurted that out. Bleeped, bleeped that out. It's a face scene. <laughs> um, but they uh, they both escape. They make it out of the prison, and Mister Nobody's standing right there to welcome them out. And it was just like, what? How did this? How does this make where, sense? Where was this prison, anyways? Uh, I don't know no idea and also did he not get a trial like i don't think so he went to he went to maximum security alcatraz like then the the first day they're like no no trial just put him in i mean i think they can do that sort of um he wasn't even indicted no but like say you arrest a police officer and so he's like in extreme danger of other prisoners because he's right so well known that they could put him in more like a heavily secured area to protect him maybe yeah. i don't know i don't know if you can hear my kids I'm, I'm not giggling in the background but they're apparently tickling each other right now yes uh, um but yeah so we it comes to find out vin diesel's kid that he had with the blonde lady from number six that he, so she was, this is stupid. She was the rocks partner in number five. Real quick. Do you like this movie? I don't like Vin Diesel. I like everything. (laughs) Okay. That's been established. Yeah. Uh, I I do like this one. I just don't like the Vin Diesel stuff because it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, no, it really doesn't. Because they play off of other stuff that doesn't make any sense. But so in number five, The Rock had a partner, the blonde lady. Yes. In number six, she leaves The Rock and is now dating Vin Diesel. Because Letty is gone. Because Letty is gone. I don't know. She she came. She was The Rock's partner in number four? Uh, Did we have The Rock in number four? I don't think so. I think The Rock was number five. Five, and then six, they're together. But then Letty's back for seven. Okay, yeah. And most of six. I don't know. It yeah. doesn't matter. 
But anyway, so he gets her pregnant in number six. We don't know Did anything know about that? it. No. Hmm. Okay, I didn't. Okay. They didn't establish a relationship in number five. They were just sleeping together at the beginning of number six, and you're just like, that's weird. Like you've made this big deal about not wanting to be with Gal Gadot because you love Letty, and now you're just sleeping with this other lady with no context. Yeah. Yeah, that was dumb. And then Letty shows back up, and then you just break up with her. Like, there's, like, five seconds with them together on screen. Mm -hmm. And then she comes back, and this one, turns out she got pregnant, had a baby, but got kidnapped right away, so she could never tell him, which... Oh, another thing, big problem I had with this movie. In the beginning, they established that Letty and Dom want to have kids, but they just haven't really decided if they're going to have kids. Yeah. And then you find out that he's already got a kid then they just kill the mom so now letty and dom can have that kid together and solve all their problems i was like what how is this it was so so ridiculous (laughs) oh it's so dumb but uh the motivation of kidnapping the kid makes sense why dom would leave but yeah but it doesn't make sense that he would betray his family uh including his wife like yeah you're not gonna let her even if you don't tell everyone you're not gonna let her know yeah like that's that's that doesn't make any sense to me yeah because he like full on makes out with charlie's theorem yeah i don't buy into their relationship they have a poor marriage and it's oh, not gonna yeah. last um the vin diesel got into a lot of trouble for that kiss scene because i think he was on like ellen or something and he said, like, yeah, I could tell Charlie Theron was, like, really into this kiss. She's, like, oh, geez. really felt something from this type of thing. Like, that was his attitude. And she uh-huh. she came out later and said, no, not <laughs> not a little bit. I'm an actress. <laughs> I, like, I was getting paid to do this. Yeah, like, this is just my job. I had no desire to kiss you. But Also, Vin- you're Vin Diesel and I'm Charlie Theron. Like, there's... No, oh, I I'm, thought, I'm like. I thought we were role playing. You, Vin Diesel. I you wanted me to be Vin Diesel for a minute, and you wanted to be Charlize Theron. I was like, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is just her telling him that he's not on her level. Yeah, yeah. No, it was super weird. Did you watch that video I sent you about uh, Vin Diesel? When did you do this? Uh, last week. I remember getting a video about Vin Diesel. Oh. I'm guessing you didn't watch it then. I have no videos for you. Yeah, that's all right. Um, but yeah, so Vin Diesel's kid is kidnapped. He's working for Charlie Theron because of that. But he's working on a plan to free her, free himself, and stop Charlie Theron the entire time. And it doesn't make any sense. No. Why not tell your people? This is what you guys do: is these elaborate schemes. Like, why? Uh, uh, yeah, there was no, there was nothing preventing him from telling them. Yeah, and it's not like you need, and it's not like one of those things that's where it's like, oh, well, I needed you to believe I betrayed you. This not, it doesn't matter if they know or not because. Charlie Theron doesn't care if they know or not. She just wants you to work for her. Yeah. Her whole thing wasn't about like them being betrayed. She don't care. Oh. Uh, but then that that takes me to why? What is so good about Vin Diesel that you couldn't have your number two dude from Game of Thrones do all these things that you want Vin <laughs> Diesel to do? Um, like it made no sense. Yeah. Well, I didn't. I thought that was so dumb. He's like this superhero. He's like this super genius, super racer, super fighter. Like every attribute you could give, he has it, and he's the best Except at it. He's, but he's not even as good as The Rock in anything. No, he's not even as good as Jason Statham, or Paul Walker, or Tyrese. Yeah, he's probably like the f- maybe well, Ludacris. Him and Ludacris might be on the same level, but I like Ludacris better. Just oh, their better. effectiveness on screen. That he just doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's uh, I, it's uh, I don't know. Anyways, it, it just made no sense why she like would go so out of her way mm-hmm. 
to to kidnap the the girl and the boy to make Vin Diesel work for her that you could just get out so many other people to do like without having to go through that trouble. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. And, like I, so, someone who would like willingly do it for you too. Like, yeah. You wouldn't even have to worry about them scheming behind your back cuz obviously like you're making them mad. <sighs> it's so dumb. Yeah, cuz what whatever. what all did he do? He he stole the EMP. Okay, that might have been the biggest thing. She knew that he was going to be on that job. The, yeah. No, I, I agree. I, yeah, I agree. It's a stretch. But that's like the only like initial motivation. Then after that point, her using him would make sense because she's already got leverage on him. But <laughs> they, they're putting a lot of stock into him being able to be a lone person fighting off a hundred cops with machine guns. Yeah. And then, uh, I don't know. He... <laughs> And the only threat to him is his team. That's what they keep. He's like, where's my team at? And they're like, oh, they're off the grid still. Don't worry. But he's like, my team. The, the only thing that's going to stop him is Blue them. Blue. Um, yeah. And they almost do, <laughs> which. Yeah, they do. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I don't know. I, I really dislike Vin Diesel. What did you think about the uh, submarine stuff? Uh, I thought it was pretty dumb. I pretty much hated everything on the ice. Um, that whole thing I didn't like. I like Tyrese. All of Tyrese's stuff on the ice. I thought that was all fun. I like the... You'll have to remind me. What was... Tyrese's car kept spinning out. Oh, and He right. was like struggling. Yeah. And then he crashes into the ice and is going underwater and then gets drugged behind the uh, Ludacris's car. Yeah. Like that was all funny. Um... The sub stuff was weird. The heat sinking thing was weird. Vin that Diesel. That was so ridiculous. The way he drove it pretty much into the sub. Yeah. But then, like, why make the sub, like, hit his car at that point? It. it <laughs> he's already, like, a superhero doing these super things. Like, why? What, what was the purpose of that? Of Just to show how close it was? Well, so it was he, the heat sinking was following him and he drove over the sub and clipped it so he right. could turn his car to safety and have the explosion hit the bottom of his car and not the side or the windows. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> that, that's enough for me. Yep. Um, yeah, that was bad. I, I thought it's funny when the rock pushes the, uh, the, oh, uh, the, the, the the torpedo <laughs> the torpedo um i mean at that point yeah why not yeah because they're not regular people anymore well okay so that's the thing right i i think these movies are fun because they're so ridiculous but i feel like vin diesel's the only one who takes them serious like well i said the problem is only the rock is over the top though um and like i don't know i feel like tyrese is I'm pretty like, aware letty or michelle rodriguez she's equally as bad as vin diesel yeah yeah um, they both take it super seriously but I, like no one is over the top in any attribute like the rock is yeah like yeah. it's like watching a movie of captain america and his team of regular people <laughs> i don't well they all have superhero or superhuman type skills though like tyrese is a super hacker Ty or not tyrese Ludacris is a super hacker. Tyrese can Which talk his way out of anything. In Let what universe is that a superhero skill? <laughs> In this one? Um, Letty, That's the problem. Letty is a girl, but she's got a mean face. Um, yes, she does. A Vin but Diesel. then you also have the other girl. Why do you need two smart hacker type? I don't understand her character. Um, I don't either. Reese, what's her it's, name? Uh, what was her Ramsey? Name? Ramsey. She, Ramsey. Yeah. She was in a couple scenes. She didn't really do much. They did hack together at one point, which was fine. But she would just be inside the car, in the passenger seat. She, she wouldn't need to be in the action. No, that it's like no why? Sense. Why are you doing this? Why are you putting your life in danger? Like, because if this car flips, you're in trouble. Like, you still can get hurt. 
But they're like, yeah, oh, let's no, just throw her in because we need her. Vin Diesel flipped many a time through this movie and no damage. That's true. She also I'm was in the car I'm, in the last one when that happened. Yeah, so... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's pointless. But then also, I mean, the same goes for uh, Ludacris. Why does he... If he's if his thing is being the smart guy... Well, which, he can hack on the job, right? Like, he can... Maybe they need him to hack, and he is a competent driver. So, like, he does do stuff um, in the heists, like, you know, hacking into guns yeah. or, you know, whatever. Like, he, he is useful in that way. She is not. Ramsey doesn't do a single thing in any of the heists. She's really just there to create the the triangle between the three of them that's... Yeah, Tyrese and Ludacris are both in love with her. What I did like about that, right? So, how long? See, so Ramsey's been in this for two or three movies now. Two, two movies. Two. And and they set it up to where, yeah, Tyrese is the the loud guy who who wants her, and Ludacris is like the the quiet, smart guy, and she definitely is like leaning towards him because yeah. she's the same way. And like, you don't gotta be, you don't gotta be, you don't gotta be Tyrese when. Oh, you could be smart like Ludacris and, and get this girl, yeah. which is fine. And and they're going towards that the whole way. And like even Tyrese like sees it happening, and he's like, he's like, so it's probably like a first for him. But then at the end of the movie, she she puts forward like the whole oh, what's my last name? Neither of you know. And then saying like, well, whoever can figure it out can be with me, like oh, back I don't on think level that was, playing fields. I don't think that that's was what like it a felt serious like. thing. I think I was like. Why do you guys want to date me so bad? You don't even know my last name. Like, let's start there. Figure that out, and we can talk. Type of thing. Like, yeah, but it, but the way it was presented, it felt like it was a level playing field between the two of them. When it hasn't leaned that way the whole time. Why? Well, in the sense that neither of them have a chance. Ah, uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Not like, oh, you both. Well, now then she's have this. really leading ludicrous on. <laughs> yeah, maybe. That's fair. She got him on the hood. <laughs> um, yeah, no, she she's a weird character because she doesn't do anything, like we said, and it just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. No, it makes zero sense. Also, another scene with The Rock, or a couple scenes, there's one where he punches like a sea train and he dents it in like <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> that is like steel. It's, I don't know, if, I don't think it's steel, but you're not punching that. Yeah. No. Hard, there's no way you punch it hard enough to put a dent in it mm. without turning your bones into dust. <laughs> like, I yeah. would be surprised if the, the actual rock, real life rock, mm-hmm. could take a sledgehammer and hit it so hard that it put that sizable dent in it. Mm, that That's possible, I think. Maybe a dent, but not as big as his fist did like, yeah, in the movie. Yeah, probably It was not. too much. Yeah. Uh, but the other scene is when he picks up Scott... Yeah, Scott Eastwood. It's Scott Eastwood. Like, he's holding him up sideways, yeah. just yeah. like up you, against. You can't do that. That's not. No. That's not something people can do. <laughs> and then you're, and then you're just holding him like straight out in front of you. Yeah. Well, so that is basically that's all forearm right there. He's holding him against a wall, which would be care. easier. But he's gonna need to get under him and prop him up. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, definitely. I don't think The Rock could do that. I don't think there. There might be some people who could do that, but I, I doubt it. Like I would say maybe the mountain from Game of Thrones could do that to Michelle Rodriguez with the assistance of The Rock. But you couldn't hold it there either. Like he just no. like he was like no issue, no struggle, just sitting there like Don't talk about my wife. But he also ripped the handcuffs in part apart. He snapped the okay. chain holding them to do that. Yeah. Which the only other person in the world that I've ever seen do that was Superman. So yeah, here well, we go. That's, that's basically the Rock. Oh, that's right. But uh, it yeah, just I, is so ridiculous. I don't know. I I enjoy this one again. Like everything but Vin Diesel. We the whole end. You find out that oh okay. One part before we get to that. Uh, Vin Diesel sets it up because he knows that she can see him on camera. So he has his car break down. Then he has the guys from Brazil who he gave the car back to, who now has his respect, come and park a van in front of a camera 
at the ATM festival. And it's just like, how on earth, one, would you know that that camera is going to be there? Two, know exactly what it could see and what it can't see. And three, know that there's not another camera somewhere else that's going to see you walk away. Like there's, you don't just know what is in camera view or not. Like it's just so crazy. But he gets away and goes and talks to Jason Statham's mom and is like, I know the most important thing is family and I want to get your kids back together because Owen Shaw is still alive. And so the mom tells <sighs> the mom tells Jason Statham, you're going to have to work with your brother and help Vin Diesel. And then that's why they go get on the plane and save the baby. Are you there? I feel like I lost you. You're not saying anything. Here, yeah. What's the point? I I am um, again, I get back in. I don't know. I wonder why I was being ignored. I'm sitting here talking. <laughs> I was like, man, where did you go? All the way back to when we're talking about the cameras. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I was going on a whole rant about that, and I was surprised you didn't interrupt me. Oh, I tried. <laughs> I, cer- I certainly tried. <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> Just about how ridiculous it was that he just knew he had all the awareness of the cameras, yeah, including the one that was like above mm-hmm. where he like perfectly positioned the hood yeah. to where it put him just out. Uh, so stupid, yeah. And, and was, if there was a random camera there, what is to say there's not one on the other side of you? Yeah, because just the, the whole idea of the god's eye can hack into people's phones, hack into every like it tracks your face. What did you think when they hacked all the cars? I thought that was cool. I thought that was a cool I idea. Kinda, I, I, I did kind of like that. I, I didn't like the commentary aspect of it. Like, oh, this is our future and this is going to happen. But I I thought the premise was cool, you know? And and making it rain on them. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was But why were there so many cars in that building? It was oh, like yeah. four floors of cars just all propped up against the window. I was like, no, that's not going <laughs> to happen. Um, But yeah, no, it... I don't know. I, I, so honestly, to v- if we cut yeah. out Vin Diesel from this entire movie, it's so much better. Oh, so much better. Like Charlize um, Theron is a great actress. Um, Kurt Russell's great. The Rock is entertaining. He's, Tyrese is Kurt entertaining. Kurt Russell's great, but he's not really that great in this. I, like, I feel like he does a good job. He could have been anybody. I don't uh, know. I mean, he's I fine. So. Um Ludacris but the scene that I was I was gonna say I, I did enjoy the scene with uh, Jason Statham and his mom mm-hmm. and and her like making him take his brother with him. Yeah, is that feel I like thought your that life? Was pretty funny. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's like oh yeah he's like I already ha-, he said something like I already have a couple people in mind. So like, no, you're taking your brother. Yeah, it's like come on. <laughs> I did like the idea that so Jason Statham was a bad guy in Seven. And in this one, he's like a good guy and him and the rock are having conflict and the rock is like, well, how am I ever supposed to trust you? You have this long rap sheet of all this stuff you did. And yeah. he's like, yeah, so do you. We just are in different sides. Like the idea of yeah. like, I was forced to do stuff that looks bad, but I did it for noble reasons, just like you, which I thought was kind of a cool turn, a, a little unearned because he's like a straight up mass murderer. Oh, he killed lots of innocent people yeah. in that hospital in the last movie. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, um, one of the other things, too. So, yeah, we've established that The Rock and Jason Statham don't like each other. Yes. And they will begrudgingly work together. Mm-hmm. Right. But then when Jason Statham gets shot on the street. Yeah. And then, like, that next scene where they're like, where's Deckard? They're like, he didn't make it. He's like, oh, no. <laughs> and that's when he punches the C train. He's, like, so <laughs> upset that he's dead. Well, because they're becoming like, friends. For like 10 minutes earlier. He said, I'm going to punch you so hard that you have to brush your teeth through your butt. Something like that. <laughs> no, no, he said he's going to stick his boot up his butt so far. Or what was it? No, that's what he said. I'm going oh. to knock your teeth down your throat. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. I'm pretty sure I had it right. Stick my boot down your throat. I don't think so. Something with his boot. Yeah, it was something with his boot. I was just pretty sure knocking his teeth da- out. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, but I, I thought that was, that was ridiculous. Every- but, no, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> oh, I'm going to punch stuff. 
everything without Vin Diesel is good, is fun. Yeah. Everything with Vin Diesel is kind of exhausting. So I'm yep. I'm excited for the Rock Jason Statham movie because they have like you can just do anything. There's no rules. Like just whatever crazy thing you want to do is what they've already established. So there's like nothing in the way of them making, you know, Crank 3. Like it's just wide open. Oh, but that's the problem is the crank movies are dumb. Yeah, but because they didn't establish it very well. They never like earned it. Like the Fast and Furious is like primed to be crazy. Like your expectations are not. Yeah. Right, you know what I mean? Like. So I don't know. Um, what's your overall opinion of this one? Good, bad, hate it, love it. Uh, I don't love it. I didn't hate it. It's it's the best of the series. Yeah, I think, in my opinion, um, that's about it, though. Yeah. Well, that was the end of our Fast and Furious. We're gonna take a break from a franchise. Our next movie we're gonna do is Hardcore Henry, and yeah. uh, so we'll be back with that next week. Then I think we'll, we're gonna figure out what we're doing after that. But uh, I think yeah. we'll we'll do another franchise most likely. But yeah, so like us on Twitter. Nope. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. And follow uh, us on like it. <laughs> do all that stuff. Let us know what you think. We appreciate it.